Hello YouTube, Ronan Kazi here. Another legendary Manning National Zoo. Jumped in a group with a couple of clan mates. Not my clan mates, they're in clan DRA. Uh, sped the video up. These legendaries can take a little bit of time. So I jumped in here. Uh, this was after my solo legendary couple two videos i just wanted to just go through a normal legendary with someone uh had failed wasn't real thrilled about failing again so in this part uh you're in the aquarium uh, you set up a defensive position here and you draw them into this oh pull. no you don't play from out there so i'm gonna put that out there and i'm putting my hive out there my hive i have my max dps skill build uh and <clears throat> that gets turned that gets turned on when there is uh status effects what they both died well that's not good you have to decide right here we're still early in the match i can either die right away uh but i don't want to die i just had that failure and i want to Get us through there, and I think I can get us up there. Don't have unbreakable. My max skill DPS. Oh, one of the commenters, and I understand what he was saying. He was saying that DPS means red uh, damage and crit. And I politely disagreed, and I told him DPS means damage per second. And... Uh, the only, I understand if you play this game or if you play only these type of games, these first person shooters or third person shooters, uh, that's traditionally what you think about. If you play something like WoW, they'll have like a DPSers, might be a melee DPS, might be range DPS, might be magic DPS, uh, but really it's between like melee and ranged. And other games, you know, you, you, you separate it. <clears throat> so the point that I would say to that person is this build is a DPS build. It doesn't use DPS with a gun. A on top of a gun, it uses skills. So if everything is rolling correctly, I'm putting about between 400 and 500K of damage on a target. And so that might be like an AR damage when you have some crit and that kind of stuff. And maybe just some of the raw damage. So, uh, and DPS isn't everything, but it's just a way I'd use to designate the different types of builds. I'd, this skill build is completely different than a healing skill build, which is different than crowd control and whatever. So, it's for that person, I understand what you mean, but uh, for clarification, that's why I say that. So, they're still dead. And... This makes me nervous. They're kind of high watch level people, so they should know better. They're in a clan, though, and they die together, and that's kind of not good because they should kind of either go and chat and say, hey, we're going to try this strategy or whatever. But the fact that they don't hang back and it's a legendary uh, means that they might not know how to play this legendary. And they're not bad players, and they have good DPS, but, like, that's a weird place to just die. It's complete lack of understanding of this legendary. So, gives me pause. I'm going to try to res him. go to the next all right so i'm kind of worried now that we're going to go to the next part i'm going to go a little bit behind them and <clears throat> the other thing if you're playing legendaries there's no speed runs in legendary uh i'm not saying you can't just some of the mechanics take times to 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 proc and like you know different spawns and you can be completely out of position if you don't kind of work as a team a little bit but anyways
The other thing I've mentioned to you before is you shouldn't crowd next to each other all the time. You should kind of spread out guard flanks, and they're right next to each other, so that's not fantastic. And I guess when you think about legendaries, it doesn't matter how much armor you have, you don't have enough armor for anything. So if you look at some of the times when you get killed or the damage, <clears throat> you can't take a lot of shots. So I got to be in cover all the time because I can't take a lot of shots. But what's the difference between a million armor and two million armor? Ta-da! One million. But if you're getting hit for 400k... So that's four shots, five shots instead of two shots, three shots. It's not that big of a difference. It's a false sense of security. So on this part of the map, uh, we're on the second wave. They spawn on the left and the right. You see we have a fourth coming. So the other mechanic in this section of the map is you're going to clear it and you're going to think it's going to be done. And normally what groups do is they all bunch up all four and they run to go to the next area. But all that does is start the triggers the people from behind you. And you can see that that guy was running with me he hasn't played this so that's okay but you would just hope people would be a little more cautious when they're playing legendary maybe they don't ever play any legendaries maybe they're my biggest fans and want to do legendary so maybe i should watch what i say but i don't think that because if they were my biggest fans they'd know that i'd say go slow and it's not a race and all that so, here's another distressing thing. They're already gone. And we got stuff inside the wire. And they're already on the other edge of the map. And it's like, what that? What are we doing? And so, really what's going to happen in the map, there's going to be Chungas eventually are going to spawn right here. You can fight pretty much everything. And there's one of them down. What's different about this map is that it will spawn people in the middle. You can see them come back. Spawns people in the middle by, via helos. Certain point of Chunga is going to come out on this end. I'd like to have my turret here so we can address it up close. <coughs> Excuse me, gosh. And so I'm going to find a spot to put the turret. This is normally a time I die when I'm trying to get the perfect placement for the turret. Try not to do that. Who cares? I just want it to be up high so I can kind of see people all over the place. And as we clear these out, then the next spawn, the final spawn will happen. Here you can see me procking the uh, shock and awe where I got to put status effects on someone. And there they go down there. Here's what makes me feel good. Look how fast the chungas go down. So that's a good thing. So that's what gives me hope. And no one's really dying now. Maybe we can see that there's a benefit if we all stay together. Focused fire. In some MMOs you can focus fire through one person in the group and they get all the aggro but then you also are attacking always the same target and that's kind of the difference between um parallel and serial 
Uh, when I was first in computers, parallel ports were always faster, right? Because it sends all the data on, yeah, maybe there was a 25 pin parallel port and it sent all the data on 24 or 23 of the pins. But it's funny, we don't have a lot of parallel ports anymore. We have serial ports, USB, etc. Because what they found is you can just pump stuff faster through one at a time. Then if we try to do it parallel, it's more complex. More probably error correcting if you have all those different pins to make sure you're sending the right signal. So one at a time, boys. And that's one of the things about the vial jammer. It's good that you're pressuring everyone, but that's not how you're going to kill people the fastest is damaging everyone. It's damaging one person. That's why there's some scenarios where a vial jammer just isn't the best build when you're soloing because you're not facing as many people and, and, and. But anyways, here we are in the crocodile pit. Normally, you fight from inside here. And... Okay. So, more foreshadowing. want to take a quick moment to thank everyone for supporting the channel. I appreciate the comments, the likes. It helps everything. I'm close to 300. Be great this weekend if I hit 300. Super Bowl. Um... I, and I'm not going to lie, I would like to monetize this. I'd like to do a little bit more. I'd like to branch out with games. Part of what the problem is uh, when I put these videos out is really inconsistent because I have a day job I got to do. <clears throat> and so sometimes I have events I got to go to and that kind of stuff. So I can't always do it uh, to do the gameplay. I probably... You know, on a typical day, I'll do like 25 or 30 gigs of gameplay, and then I got to figure out which things are interesting or not. I'd like to have a second channel so I don't always have to just do division stuff, but then that's kind of, you know, I'm trying to find a game that's more modern that more people will like. Uh, I playing while I was going to play while with my kids, that didn't pan out. And also, WoW's not really... There's nothing exciting about it. It's it's pretty cookie-cutter till the end game. If I was doing raids, but I I wouldn't spend enough time in that game to do raids. I tried to res the guy, and I got smoked, so I come back in. So this is a pretty easy fight. This is the last easy fight. That last fight was hard because so open-ranged. This fight's a little bit easier... Because uh, you can reach everything with, you know, seekers or, you know, if I was jamming them. And I'm more confident, you know, we have the three of us are in here, one person out there. That's a lot of times I've seen that type of play. So that's good. And I'm not say, saying everything has to be what I've seen, but I'm sure there's, right, think about... <laughs> Think about survival of the fittest. The strategies that you see are usually the strategies that have worked. Uh, and you can see from some of my fail videos that, you know, I'll do a strategy that doesn't work. Right? I'm never going to do that strategy again. I'll be glad when I don't have to loot anymore. I'm in between expertise 20 and 21. I still need to loot. To I, I'd love to be done looting. Maybe I should delete everything in my bags, then it wouldn't be a problem to, to loot. I'm always worried that we're coming to the next stage, but this is on Legendary, this is the next thing before the next stage. Next stage is tough. You're going to fight from lower, and it's like an aviary reserve where birds are supposed to be, I guess, and you fight upstairs. <clears throat> you're always at a tactical disadvantage because you're always fighting up. Normally, I'd like to soften that with a lot of uh, pulsing and a lot of uh, seeker minds. But we're all here. This is good. In this first part, people are going to spawn right here to the left. So you don't want to push. And again, we're in a race for no reason. I get smoked. 
And here come the guys behind us. And now my partner partner will get smoked. And these were, were my teammates. <clears throat> and so this is the problem. You're never going to do a legendary if you separate like that constantly. Normally people spawn out of here on the left. Maybe they're all gone. So that's why I put the turret out there. When you get up to that next level, they spawn to another door to the left. And we're just being super aggressive, right? So we're pushing hard on this side. And what happens when you push hard on one side? Look, there's a guy going down on the right side. And this will happen over and over and over again. Why is this happening? No one asks themselves why. It just happens. Roxy. Roxy. Don't do it. And this is tough. We're at a disadvantage. You can see I'm taking heavy fire. I don't... Well, I got three. I should be using heal kits at this point. But where are my teammates? They're pushing hard up there. Then you got to stay up there. But they're going across the bridge... And so guess what happens? All those guys they push, guess where they're coming? Are those guys going to stay up there? Nope. They're going to come down to me and Crow. And we're not set up. We don't have a kill zone set up. And they're not reaching the drone operator. So we're just getting droned to death. And they got guys behind them. So now they have spawns on both sides. And they're together. So... Appreciate everyone that follows the channel. I don't want to only show you the successes. Here's a failure. Uh, one of the benefits of being in the pug. Sometimes I judge people by their watch score. <clears throat> in this case, I was wrong. Right? They have high, bad strategy. So it doesn't matter what kind of gear you have. If you have bad strategy, bad strategy always trumps here so thanks again everyone appreciate it appreciate all the help and all the love talk to you soon